With so many people going long range with our racing drones, GPS isn't a bad idea. It's cheap and easy to do, and I'm going to show you how to do it, coming up on the channel. What's up guys, Chatty CRC back with you here and today I'm going to show you how to install one of these U-Block GPS units using Betaflight onto our FPV racing drones. Long range, short range, whatever. You can get full telemetry back to your Tyrannus, crossfire on your OSD, real easy to do. These things will run anywhere from 10 to about 20 bucks. You just want to look for something that says U-Block on it and preferably one that is pre-configured. I got this one from Amazon. You can also get them from Ready to Fly Quads. Just kind of look through the reviews and people will tell you how easy it is to hook up and whether or not they had to flash it or it was pre-configured. Alright, so first of all you flip over your board and you're going to see some LEDs at the bottom and also you're going to see your connectors. Now there's six wires that comes with this board and we're actually going to only be using four. We're going to be using ground, we're going to be using voltage, and then we're going to be using the R and the, the I. Um, I've seen them labeled differently on different ones. Um, I'm not sure why they're labeled that way but anyway it works so let me show you how, what I am wiring it up to obviously you're gonna need a spare UART I am using a DYS F4 Pro board and I decided to use UART 6 you can see I'm using ground and 5 volt and then RX6 and TX6 all right there on the left now, I'm not sure whether my board or my GPS has these two flipped, but I did have to go through and uh, flip them once in order to get the GPS uh, running correctly. I'm not sure if that's a DYS issue or if that is a GPS issue. So if you plug it in and your stuff doesn't pop up on your OSD right away, then that's probably going to be your issue. Easy fix, just unsolder and resolder the connections. When it's all said and done, this is what it looks like. We got our power and five volts, and we also have the white wire going to RX and the green wire going to TX. There are two white wires, but you're not going to use the one that comes with the connector that is on the top. Um, I'm not sure if all of the GPS units come with these extra wires, but this one here did have an, a yellow one and an extra white one. So I think those are used uh, to hook up to compass and some other uh, options that are out there if you're maybe going to try to use INAV or something like that. So once you're all hooked up and everything, the first thing we do is go into Betaflight and pick your UART. I'm going to UART number 6 and I'm going to go all the way over to Sensor Input, select GPS and it runs at a speed of 115200, save and reboot. Then we are going to go into the configuration and we are going to scroll all the way down and we are going to click on the GPS button to enable GPS. We're going to select the UBLOX protocol. I leave auto config on, auto detect on. I guess you can put in declination stuff uh, if you want to, but I'm not sure how that would work without a compass. So I have mine at zero right now. So save and reboot. Go into your GPS screen here and you can do this indoors and actually get some kind of a lock uh, depending upon how big your house is and everything else like that. But what you'll be looking for is you'll be looking for 
just that latitude and longitude number to just change and it'll actually fix on that and fix in on your altitude and I'm just kind of letting this run here in real time boom there you can see how quick it actually picked that up it's still searching for satellites and to triangulate and everything else you can see up in the top uh, right hand corner that uh, GPS is enabled up there with my accelerometer and my gyro and now if you go into the OSD you can start adding in different things um, I tried speed uh, speed seems a little weird uh, I think it's only in metric yeah because I was getting I think it said like 40k 45k 60k so I think it was like kilometers an hour I don't know uh, satellites um, latitude and longitude home direction and distance distance works uh, pretty good um, I the direction you know again without a compass it's all kind of variable so really what you want is you know your latitude and longitude so that way you can actually find your aircraft if it goes down and who knows the way flight controllers are advancing and everything we might be able to take a lot more advantage of these things in the future so I am using TBS Crossfire so you can see that the telemetry data is coming through there is the GPS data written directly on my Crossfire module and then if we go and take a look at discover new sensors in the Tyrannus we will see that it is actually available inside the Tyrannus now you'll see your latitude longitude you have other things that you can uh, put in there as well and then you can kinda just set up your uh, OSD um, like I have mine set up right here and that'll you know that's all dependent on what you want to do it'll show you your satellites um, coordinates and everything like that you can also set these up for audible um, alerts as well if you wanted to don't know why and it would be pretty crazy you get a lot of numbers being screamed at you and all that good stuff and then when you're done you pretty much are going to be left with as I was saying when you're done and you fire up the quad then your OSD screen is going to look like this latitude longitude satellites up in the corner however you want to set it up it's all good so anyway I hope this helped you guys out got any questions let me know and I'll do my best to answer talk to you guys later